This is nine years of coding in nine minutes, starting now. Year one, I started university at UW-Madison as a biomedical engineering major. I took an intro to object-oriented programming course where I learned Java for the first time. We focused on OOP principles and worked on programming projects such as a calculator, ball rolling game, and a maze. I also learned about IDEs, the command line tool, compilers, and whatever the heck jar files were. There was a lot of information overload, but I still learned a ton in this class, especially because it was one of the first times I'd been exposed to organized programs. Programming. I also took an intro to engineering and discrete math class. There wasn't much coding in these classes, but I got to help build a robot that attacked other robots, made lifelong friends, and even learned a bit about probability, specifically the probability of me potentially not surviving in this major. Year two, I took a machine organization and programming course, just an intro to computer language at a low level. I learned a bit of assembly, hexadecimal, binary, the ASCII table, memory management, giving up on your dreams, and crying when things don't make sense. Assembly made me start to question whether or not I wanted to keep going, but clearly I did because I switched my major from biomedical engineering to computer science the next semester. I then took C++ for Java programmers. It was basically a course that made you feel bad about using the garbage collector in Java and kept reminding you about how lucky you were to not have to worry about MLOC, pointers, and structs. I learned nothing in this class, mostly because I found out that no one actually uses C++ in the industry. Data structures and algorithms in Java was next on the list. I really enjoyed this class. We mostly learned about trees, graphs, queues, the A-star algorithm, them, recursion, you name it. This was a weed out class, meaning it pushed a lot of people to drop out of the class and out of the computer science major altogether. We ended up building projects such as creating a tree map and 2D maze from scratch. UW really liked their mazes. I also did an internship at a company called Delegate this year. I learned a bit about razor code and built a full stack app that analyzed restaurant data for managers. It was interesting to work in a work setting rather than academia, and I was able to finally piece together the process behind how user stories get completed, what agile was, how to collaborate with other engineers and the quality assurance team. For the coding aspect, I honestly just threw together JavaScript, HTML, and CSS until something cool happened. Mostly guess and check the entire time, but I learned a lot about planning out and building an app from scratch, which was really cool. Year three, I studied abroad in Sweden and literally took one class a semester, database management systems in this case. The most notable thing I remember is literally chasing after my TA at a party because he refused to grade my homework on time every week. Other than that, I mostly enjoyed Fika, the art of taking breaks and eating snacks. We had about 10 fikas every hour and drank boxed wine at the club every weekend because that's all we could afford as students at the time. I came back and did an internship at an insurance company in Madison and mostly just put widgets together on a JIRA board. Literally no coding happened this summer and I even attempted to wiggle my way into the code base but took a giant step back when I found out they used Visual Basic. I was told that I needed to learn the fundamentals and was given a giant book on Visual Basic to which I pretended to read every day but just hung out and did manual labor with the other interns. I used big words like data analytics and synergy to get me through the rest of the internship. Year four, I took an intro to computer architecture class and dropped out because I had no f***ing clue what was going on. And I'm not talking about APIs, load balancers, proxies, I'm talking about computer hardware architecture. I mean, we have machines that deal with that now, so I honestly wasn't going to learn it. I also took an artificial intelligence class, which was the best class ever. It was literally data structures and algorithms on steroids. We learned about gaming algorithms used in chess, checkers, and Go. We learned about neural networks and pattern recognition, and even built a Moncala game that played against you and beat you 99% of the time using heuristics and greedy algorithms. All of this was coded in Java, pretty much the only language that I knew at this point. I also took a numerical analysis class. You know those jobs that rely on math equations to predict behaviors? Well, sometimes when you're collecting data in real life, it doesn't always have to fit a perfect equation, but it can get really, really close. So this class was mostly about estimating equations using R by collecting several data points from experiments that were run in real life. It was a really cool class, and I could see how it might be used in the real world. I also took an operating systems class. We learned about a kernel. No, not a popcorn kernel, but literally the code behind the operating system and file management system. The the professor was great and I learned a lot in theory, but in practice the coding part was really dull as it was pretty low level and unrelatable to what was going on in the industry. Anyways, back to the video. Year 5, I started working at a startup, Advantage Analytics, that did analytics for an insurance company. They were super progressive and let me work remotely from Greece for 6 months. I learned a little bit of C-sharp in the .NET framework, built logic apps, worked with Azure, understanding Git, and also how to deploy code into a production environment. Honestly, the biggest thing for me was having the flexibility to work from a different country. That was huge for someone who had just joined the workforce. The biggest takeaways here were learning to work on a team, leading feature changes and bug changes, asking for help, and creating POCs. I created a lot of POCs, especially because we were a startup. I eventually got into Angular using JavaScript, but that didn't last long as I quit and moved on to Target the next year. 
Year six, I joined Target through a software engineering rotational program. I would be on two different teams, six months each, and then choose a final placement at the end of the year. My first rotation was on the gift card team. I used Java in the Spring Boot framework. I learned how to write production code, write unit integration and functional tests, go through the PR review process, what dependency injection, SOX compliance, and commuting to an office was like. I actually learned a lot on this rotation and drank the Kool-Aid hardcore. Fortunately, my commutes came to an abrupt halt when COVID hit. Suddenly, my introverted self was able to start working from home again just in time to move on to my next rotation. My next rotation was on the warehousing team. They kept track of the orchestration of products within the warehouse. I used Kotlin and Java and mostly worked on configuration files for our Kafka streaming service. I ended up leaving this team a bit early and joining the red car team shortly afterwards. Year seven and eight. It was really cool to be on this team because I was friends with my boss and quickly became friends with everyone else on the team. We used Kotlin in the Micronaut framework and I got to co-lead an entire project that collected red card application information from people that applied for red cards online and in the store. I learned a ton in this role. I built an app from scratch with my coworker, learned how to set up Docker, set up simulations and mocks for integration and functional testing, registered the application within the company, discussed features with stakeholders, iterated on functionality, and dove deep into using Kafka and the CQRS model in our application, as well as how to conduct integration tests to stream data. I learned how to use a lot of their internal tools and also a bit about using load balancers, proxies, etc. I also learned about functional programming here. I had mostly been using OOP for most of my career, so it was really cool to throw all of that out the window and focus on functional programming. During this time, I was also grinding leak code. So I spent a lot of time brushing up on data structures and algorithms, relearning tree maps, tries, recursion, working with 2D array problems. I started watching tech YouTubers and even felt a glimmer of excitement thinking about potentially starting a YouTube channel. Year nine, I had 10 interviews over the course of a year and a half, including Google, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, LinkedIn, and Reddit. I accepted a job offer at Microsoft and left Target. I worked on an internal tool for other engineers in the company mostly streamlining policies attached to repos, pipelines, and service metadata. I use C Sharp and the .NET framework here, along with tools such as Azure, ADO, Kubernetes. I learned more about scalability, testing frameworks, working in an async environment, accessibility, dealing with ambiguity, taking initiative on long-term tasks, and dealing with context switching. A lot, a lot of context switching. Here, I also learned more about streaming data and functional programming in C Sharp. Well, that's it. And for the sake of still keeping this video under nine minutes, don't forget to subscribe and peace out.